Dodgeball is a game enjoyed by many, and WVUA 23's Emily Mosner has more on a special tournament that happened this afternoon. And Emily, did you do your best to stay safe out there? Madison, I did my best to avoid getting hit, and while I was there, I spoke to some participants who told me about the meaning behind the tournament. Dodgeball was the name of the game Sunday afternoon, as the sound of whistles, squeaky shoes, and foam balls hitting the bleachers filled the gymnasium of Hillcrest Middle School. It is actually really fun. It's dangerous, you know. <laughs> you didn't think foam balls would hurt so much, but we're having fun out here. The double elimination dodgeball tournament wasn't just a competition for bragging rights. Tonight, members of the community are out here throwing dodgeballs for a cause. And about three years ago, the Lord just told our family that, um, you know, we're supposed to adopt. He kind of surrounded us with a bunch of other families who were adopting. The proceeds of the event are going to the Cardin family to help with the high cost of the adoption process. We have to have $30,000 um, to adopt. So, I mean, we don't have that. We have the means to take care of another baby, but not the means to just put all that money up front. Nine teams competed in the tournament, and many more came out to cheer and support the Cardin family. So it's just um, phenomenal to know that you have people that care about your life that much that are willing to take the time out of their busy schedule and do something like this for you. If you want to help the Cardin family, you can go to their GoFundMe page called Cardin Adoption Fund. Live in the studio, Emily Moser, WVUA 23 News.